Construction is currently underway on a project that will repurpose a large section of the University of Arizona's Biosphere 2. An entire wing of the complex that formerly held the farm space will be completely hollowed out to make way for a new experiment over two years in the making. So this area is about a half acre in size. Um, it has three large uh, circular type vaults and within that it had about a little over three feet of soil. But they felt that this particular space offered a unique opportunity to build an artificial hill slope. And that hill slope would help to answer questions such as, you know, the fundamental question, how does water get to the river? And more importantly, how is that water partitioned or which parts are utilized in different areas as it moves through the landscape? Basically questions that we can understand more the, the connections between different components of a system and how those components are linked together. How water moves in a system, in a natural system or a relatively natural system. Um, how soil interacts with the movement of water and by this interaction the flow of water in the system changes in time. And then eventually how the change in soil internally, by, so we talk about soil chemistry, uh, and the change in geomorphology of the slope will interact when vegetation colonizes that environment. Uh, outside in the real world we have a lot of complexity and little ability to manipulate factors. Uh, so we end up having the problem of not knowing exactly how those components are comp connected. Here we can do a lot of manipulation. We can control temperature, we can control rainfall. We know that certain aspects of our climate is changing, and in particular here in the Southwest, um, there is a, you know, a strong understanding that potentially water resources and water availability is going to change significantly. So understanding that partitioning will be critical when it comes to understanding the movement of that particular resource that all of us are so dependent upon.